All right. All right, tutorial Tuesday, let's go. The idea today is to teach you guys how to make your hi-hats more interesting. So I got this uh, random beat here. The first tip is to pan the hi-hats. And we could do this by either just straight up panning them, like we can have the main one go left, Maybe make it go left uh, 20, and then make the other one go right 20. Let's listen to that. Lovely. Already way more interesting than it was, as you can hear. Uh, maybe let's dial it back a little bit. Now the next idea is to pitch your hi-hats. Personally, I don't like to have them pitch the entire time uh, unless it goes with the drum kit. What we could do is have it pitch down over time. And we could do this either with audio, we could do this with growth speed, and we could do it straight up in the DAW. I think the way I would like to do it is probably putting it to audio. I'd probably put it to audio. Select these, press Control J. That's uh, consolidate. I'm gonna consolidate the other one as well. Then I'm gonna go to freeze and then flatten, and then I'll that put it to audio. Then we do the same thing with the other one. I know we could pitch it in the drum rack, but I don't know, I prefer to pitch it this way. I think it makes it a little bit easier. If you want to pitch it, it's pretty easy. Just click this, and it'll open up the envelopes. And then, as you see, transposition is selected here. And um, yeah, we can uh, scroll up and down here to see the transposition, and then we can draw it in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it in. I'm gonna have it go either up or down at the end, I think. So let's try something like this. Let's go down an octave. That might actually be too long. Let's do it like this. There we go. I duplicated the ending of it over. And obviously we can keep that there or not if we want to, but for now I think that's okay. I'm gonna close everything else, that way it's easier to just see the hi-hats because that's the main thing we're working on right now. All right, the next step we have automation or production. Now that kind of ties into what we were just doing. As you can see, we did a little bit of pitch automation, which is good. Uh, there's more things we could do as well. What I meant by this is like, we could have production. For instance, we could take out the, these other hi-hats in this beginning part here. I have them come in here. I feel like that's, uh, I don't know, we're too bare at the moment for that to be a good idea though, but, but let's just, uh, let's put that there for now anyways, because that'll tie into the next tips. All right, cool, so next up we got variation. Now this could be as simple as adding an extra note here and there, taking out a note here and there, kind of like the production part of it. Point is, if things are too repetitious, wait, hold on a second, no fucking way. But the point is, if things are too repetitive, then people are going to get tired of it. But if we can have enough variation to uh, prevent them from getting tired of it, then we'll have stopped that problem. We're not exactly trying to do that a one-to-one -one per se, but that's uh, the byproduct of what we're trying to do. So whatever you can do to make it have more variation, but still good, that's something worth considering. Maybe for this one right here, I would want this other three note thing to happen again sooner, like that. I could have this happen again or something. All right, next up we have velocity. Now, as you can see, we already have some velocity variation going on here, but there's always more to be done. Maybe not always, but there could be more to be done here. So let's investigate. Let's listen to it. I actually don't like that one there. So. Just because there was velocity variation doesn't mean it's good. Because this, this velocity variation actually I think is not good. So let's try uh, something more like this. I think we could even vary these uh, other notes a little bit more. So we could try going and turn down some of these notes individually. Or we can take the whole thing and apply a groove pattern to it. Depending on how you like to work. I have a video on that as well that I can link for you guys. I will link that in the upper corner right now. For now I think I'm just going to do this uh, manually. So I'm just going to go in here, I'm going to turn down some notes, maybe like three decibels. As you can see, it gives a little more human feeling to it. Okay, there we go. 
now we got our uh, now we got our velocity variation implemented. At least phase one of it. All right, number six to add new parts. When doing this, you're gonna want to add contrasting rhythms. This is sort of the obvious answer. It doesn't completely solve your problems, but um, it'll just make the rhythm more interesting because they have more rhythms uh, compounding against each other. Uh, maybe something like this. This is kind of ass though. So that takes us to our next trick. The next thing you can try is layering. This will involve playing shakers or a hi-hat to layer underneath your uh, original shaker or hi-hat or whatever rhythm you have going on. We're trying to make something in the background to create some texture and to fill out some uh, empty spaces. We're trying to make our song sound more interesting, mysterious, and complete. You can try accenting a few hits here and there or accenting the whole rhythm and turning it down a little bit or a lot of bit. Now, if you're still having trouble with this, you can move on to my next tip, which is, um, I don't know, I wasn't sure if I should put this as the last or the first step, but uh, another option is to put a top loop. Yeah, you heard that right. You can put a top loop on top of it or some sort of uh, percussion loop or something. You can do your own percussion, but it really, it will save you a lot of time to just like find like a top loop or percussion loop or something. I mean, sometimes I like to do my own percussion too, but if I don't really have an idea, uh, I find it easier to just cycle through things and hopefully I find a rhythm that I'm looking for. And uh, yeah, those would satisfy those needs. All right, so we got some, uh, we got some here. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully one of these goes good with this. Uh, yeah, the only thing about this is you may be cycling for a while or you might not be. one would be pretty good but um i'm not really feeling how the snare is in this one so we might be able to overwrite that by uh moving some of these around all right so without the loop and with it another option Actually, you can combine all these things. Another thing worth considering. Like we can take this auto pan effect and automate it on top of the top loop. Holy shit, that's like combining like three of them. That's it for this video. I'm your host Weaver Beats. Help me guys, I'm stuck inside a computer. That's why you're not seeing my face this week. I am stuck inside my computer. Uh, please join my Patreon or join my Discord server in order to help me get out of my computer, please. That's a joke. You don't have to do any of those things. But if you want to, all that stuff is in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Shout out to my patrons. You're now listening to Error. The link to check out his music is down in the description.